Hey everyone, great news, we have olives this year as well. This olive tree is actually 100 years old, this one. Look at this stem. Isn't it cool? So, very special video today. We are going to make a workshop tour and the Marmachine X build team is in the house, which is very, very, very amazing for me. And even more amazing is... Hello! Han Hannes Paradis is here! <laughs> Yay! Yay, Hannes! What do you think about France? Love it! Love it? Yes, yeah. especially now. Quite warm. Yeah, it's wonderful. So, Hannes is one of my absolutely best friends and we made the original Marble Machine video together and there's rumors that he will restart his trainers YouTube channel soon. Yeah, I also heard that rumor. Let's that... see if there's any truth to it. <laughs> The first workshop we're going to show you is the CNC downstairs workshop. You know it from the videos, it's behind this door here. So let's see if we can find someone inside. Hey, Hi. Darth Marius. Everyone knows Marius, he's been in the project for two years. Almost, yeah. What are you doing today? I hear something cutting. Yeah, so we are just set up a new long CNC run. Yeah. And it's about the third way through. And yeah. If you can look at it now. So it's uh, part of the second release. And yeah, it's cutting the, the good parts for that one. So cool. Marius is so good at setting these complicated long operations up. It's like uh, a lot of hours work in the cam to prepare it. Yeah, that's true. And uh, validation and simulated in Fusion itself to see if everything is cutting right. Yeah. So I hope it, everything goes well. Let's see. <laughs> awesome. And we can just shine some sunlight on the operation like that. No, we can't because this thing is in the way. These things I want to save. I've talked about that before. I think they look like artwork. So when we do CNC, we try to keep the whole plywood sheets like that. And maybe when the marble machine is done, we can uh, auction them out as artwork. That's a cool centerpiece to have over your couch if you have a house in a flat somewhere. So this is the CNC studio. And here we go! <laughs> So Marius is using much uh, higher feed rates than what I am used to with the CNC machine. So I'm really learning a lot from having people who know a lot here. So this leads us to the second workplace, the stable workshop, kind of. And in the stable workshop, we meet a new friend in the MMX team, Alex. The machinist. Hello. Hello. Hello, Martin. Alice. What are you doing? I'm running this uh, running surface of the pulley flat that's for the uh, flywheel. And the laser didn't have a quite good service finish. So I'm riding it on the disbander here with a little uh, quick chain trick. And the grind quality is amazing. I didn't believe that this will be so good. So I'm just in the progress here and after that the surface will be like really smooth. That's a brilliant idea. So Alex is a machinist and an electrical engineer. Yes, that's right. Yeah. I'm studying electrical engineering and the machinist things are like the, the hobby thing. So I have something of both worlds. And you also have a title in the Marble Machine X project, Procurement Manager. Yes. <laughs> I'm ordering all your parts, yep. so you never run out of parts. That's absolutely Always wonderful. have something to do. Yeah. So when we're making the PBS, Alex can see in the PBS what we need to order. And you're also a senior machinist. Yes. <laughs> okay, that looks great, Alex. We are going to move to the next room. See you later. Yeah. Downstairs we're making the more dirty things, so that 
like metal and stuff. And then upstairs here, we actually have the terrace workshop, which is like a bonus workshop place. I have a fidget spinner project going on here. It's not going so well, but I think something amazing <laughs> will turn out from this eventually. Inside the terrace, we have the main room, uh, the marble machine room. And in here we have Ta -da, ta -da. Thomas! Hi. Hey Thomas! So Thomas, this is really funny. If you guys remembered that I asked for help with making the connecting rods, Thomas is the guy who ended up making them. And when we had our first video call, we realized that we really connected in design mm -hmm. things. Yeah. So we've designed some things together and now you're here. Now I'm here and it's awesome. Yes, so happy to have you. What are you making? So I've been working on this main shaft, Yeah. so basically it was too long, so I had to cut it off and make this shape right at this spot, so that these parts could now fit on here and actually drive the piston that is going to drive the fish stair later. And that goes on like that? Yeah. And now what I'm doing is to fit the next parts on here so that they fit and can drive the nice piston rods. Awesome. Thomas is really good with hand filing, like click spring style. And I was very scared of doing these things myself and it's really nice to have them done so precise. You're very welcome. So here's the music instrument wall. It's not a lot of music being done right now because we're trying to finish the stupid marble machine. When it's done, I'm looking forward to bringing all these instruments back to life again. But over here, Thomas, you can show us the connecting rods. Okay, so these are the connecting rods that we know from the video. And after some more preparation and some drilling, they will fit in here, right at this position. And they will be attached to a spring that will pull these these marble release releases. And there are these L brackets that are going to be connected right here that are going to catch the marbles so that they don't run out too fast. And that's basically this first release. Yeah. So many parts inside the marble divider. This is like, this is a third of all the parts <laughs> that goes into the marble divider. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. In here. We have the 3D printer room. Come with me. So inside here we have a print going on with parts for the marble divider. And it's spacer blocks. And the print seems to go well. And over here we have the storage shelf. So in the computer we have a number for each screw. So when we order the screws, we put on our own PBS number on the screws. So we know exactly where we have every single little screw. And like to have a bearing collection like this, I feel like the dragon in the Hobbit movies. Smog. So this is our to-do list for the week. And over here is the parts that we're printing right now. And this is the normal tidiness of my desk. <laughs> <laughs> this is another assembly that Thomas has made, the cage frame assembly. And then here is interesting. We have finally the treadle pedal on the machine. So, if you can see this motion. What I want to show you here is how cool this acrylic PMMA pipe looks when it meets the metal. That is so mad scientist. So this is where the marble is going to enter. Mm -hmm. So this is the part that is connected basically to the private part I am machining. Oh, that's the one you're cutting on the CNC machine yeah. right now. So then, so we have to adjust the stop here a little bit. Yeah. So right now it's a bit rough. So the marble comes from the first release, gets stopped here, and then it gets dropped. Beautiful. It's it's awesome. 
And this is a cool example of collaboration because I sketched the first design of this part, then I sent it over to Thomas, who made the real CAD design, and it was laser cut by DXF, and now Marius has assembled the first version. So we've been three people involved. Actually, Alex ordered the part, so all four here has been involved in making that little sub-assembly. And that's actually what I want this video to be about, that it's so fun to have these super competent people here. I'm learning so much from my German engineering team. They speak German to each other when they're building the machine, and I'm like, this precision is going to be so high. <laughs> Because you are known, Germany is known for its engineering abilities, isn't it? Well, people say. <laughs> also known for their modesty, apparently. That people don't say. <laughs> <laughs> and here is Alex, and look at I'm this. I'm finished. Whoa. Can you hold it up so we can see it? Attention, what? Whoa, that looks amazing. So this is the part that uh, will connect to the flywheel that the flat belt is going to ride on this surface. Yes. And the flywheel is like the timekeeper of the Marble Machine X. Just for reference, I'm talking about this wheel here. So, I think maybe we will be able to connect the crank to the flywheel tonight. Yes, and maybe, you, I hope so. Because you made an Excel sheet calculating all the forces of the whole yes. Marble Machine X. And now I can see the result, yes. if I <laughs> made any mistakes. I hope not. <laughs> so fun to have friends in the workshop and we're doing so much progress on the Martin X. There are some people missing, Tobias and Chris and Nathan. So hey to everyone else in the Martin X team that is not here right now. And uh, yeah, how do I finish a video? Goodbye. <laughs> <Maybe>. Goodbye. <laughs> thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah, bye, thanks bye, for bye. watching. Bye, Don't guys. forget to subscribe. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and check out all these guys' YouTube channels and Mario's Twitch stream. I'll leave a link to all of their channels in the description. Thank you so much for watching and see you on the next Bitcoin on Wednesday. Alex, yes, decide to one. We have time for bonus clip. <laughs> bonus clip! This is the treadle pedal. This is the flywheel, and this is the flywheel pulley, and this is the crank handle that we've been able to put together. This is a lot of Alex work on two days. And I was so excited to try this out because in CAD we've been calculating how much moment of inertia we want from this flywheel and made it quite heavy and geared up. And this is the result. It feels exactly the way I want it to feel. So the pedal sounds a little bit right now. It's because of a safety feature. Because look here, my foot comes under, the pedal is just folding up like that. So the foot can't crush my toes. Moment of inertia test. One minute to half past three. So we will hit the two minute mark when the seconds are down here. Then the wheel has been driving the machine by itself for two minutes. Admittedly, there's not a lot of power consumption going on in the machine right now. But anyway, this is great. So, treadle pedal, treadle pedal piston, 570 000, 580 000.